Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. This is part three of my whole coin collection video. You'll have seen previous videos of all my um, uncirculated coins that are in the coin cupboard. You may have seen the circulated version, so everything I've got that came out with circulation. And this is the uh, and this is my album, so all of the coin albums that uh, that I've got. So I hope you're going to enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with our current 50p book. So this is, you'll, you'll know this from the, the channel and our regular 50p coin hunts. So it's a full circulated um, book of commemorative coins starting from the 1998 EEC stars. And I've got everything on this page with the exception of Kew Gardens, of course. We go, we go into the 2011s and I've got the full Olympic set with the exception of two coins. Olympic football, which I've never found on a coin hunt, and I don't have uh, Olympic hockey, but I do have everything else. Taekwondo uh, finishes out that page. A few more Olympics on this page, the last one being the wrestling. And then we go into the commemoratives 2013 onwards. I think a Bobby Dazzler on here has got to be the Isaac Newton from 2017 and the Puddle Duck from 2016. And we're rounding off here with the 2018, do like the um, the Potter sets, into 2019 and the 2020 with Brexit, diversity and a 2020 shield, which I believe will be not intended for circulation. So you won't be able to find that in a coin hunt, but, uh, but we did, we found one. Brilliant. Uh, I've taken some of the coins out the back here because they're in the, the, there were some territories in here. So they're in my main territories book. And uh, these are some of the foreign coins and the oddities that are found in the second series of the 50p hunts. So that's our current 50p book. Now the very first 50p book was this one, uh, was in this red book here. And this has been turned into my, in my date run. You may well have seen this in other videos. I know when we did the 2021 set, um, annual set video, I did show you my date run. And I also showed it in the, uh, the two videos I did specifically for the date run. So you can go back and see that. If you wish and see uh, see them in uh, in uh, in detail, but I'll give you a quick a very quick blast through it. I've got every fifty pence, or trying to find every fifty pence from nineteen sixty nine onwards. Um, that's the first one. Uh, these are the big chunky, big chunky fifty p's. So the only commemorative on this page is the nineteen seventy three uh, hands. No Britannia there. You'll notice it goes from sixty nine seventy seventy one seventy two, and there was no seventy three Britannia. That design that was not minted it was just the 1973 commemorative and then we go right the way through to uh, through through the 80s and to uh, to 1992 and they've got the dual date there I got that i paid 40 pounds for that one it, it was a brilliant uncirculated i took it out of its capsule and put it into uh out of its coin flip actually and put it into my albums i paid 40 pounds for that about 60 quid now i think um, 1994, again, no Britannia 1994, that was that, that's the second commemorative for the D-Day. So that was not, uh, there was no Britannias in circulation. The big 50p, the big Britannia 50p ended in 1997, that's a not intended for circulation. And it, cause it went into the smaller size, 27 mil, 1997. So this is where the, the circulated coins take over, but it's, there's um, the, the not intended for circulation coins are in here as well. So again, starting from the EEC, we'll work right the way through. The uh, the plum find in here has got to be that suffragette, which is a brilliant uncirculated from 2003. The rest are just pretty much bog standard, but you'll notice I've got the, the definitives in here as well. So for the actual date run, so the, the smaller Britannia for, for the years as we go along. Got the Kew Gardens, very proud of that, found that on a, on a coin hunt. 2009's Kew Gardens, only one that I own. Now, the first coin that I do need to finish this, the complete date run, 2009 Blue Peter. That was there, there's only, what was it, 35,000 of them, I think, in circulation, give or take. Made 100,000 of them and they didn't sell them all. Currently go for about, well, even out of the packet, you're looking at 200 quid, I would imagine, and probably 300 pound plus now for one if you get it in the, in the Blue Peter. Bunk, uh, bunk pack. Uh, I need a 2010 uh, shield, don't have that one, and also the 2011 aquatics with the lines on the face. So that is an Olympics, same as that one there, but the, it has lines across the across the swimmer's face. It's not an error, uh, the mint did so many, I said like lines, lines kind of running down across there like that. Um, I made about 600, 
and they weren't happy with it because it seemed to the, the, the water seemed to cover the swimmer's face too much. So there was about 600 rumoured to be gone gone into circulation. I don't think it's ever been officially announced, uh, but love to get one. And if you've got one and it's real, because there's a lot of fakes around, it's worth about uh, 900, maybe it's a thousand pound just for that one that one coin. So I do fear that I'll never ever fill that. But you never know what might turn up in the coin hunt or what opportunity we might get in the future. Right, we're into the Olympics again. I do have football on this album. That's probably the pick there. Judo is a favourite of mine. Quite like Taekwondo and rowing as well. And hockey. Don't find uh, many of them. The Olympics are my favourite set by an absolute mile. I don't think there's a bad one amongst them. To be honest with you. And the last page in the red book finishes at the uh, IRB version of the 2015 coin. So it is just a, a shield. But it's got the IRB fourth portrait of the, of the Queen there. Ian Rank Broadly. And the red book turns into the blue book and the 2015 shield again but this time with the Jodie Clark portrait in there. I still need the IIB Battle of Britain so it's the same Battle of Britain same design there but the portrait on the back is IIB not Jodie Clark not the JC. I need the 2016 shield Puddle Duck a nice little favourite in here again Isaac Newton again Benjamin Bunny everyone's favourite surely uh, still need the 2018 not intended for circulation shield. This one, this is this is a special one. This is a, this is the Isaac Newton, which actually minted in 2018. You'll see in the in the right in the middle there, and that's because it's from a strike your own. So somebody went down to the Royal Mint and struck that coin in 2018, and I bought it off uh, off eBay. Back to the 2018 Potter sets. Right now. 2018 is the snowman coin that's not intended for circulation and this is when the commemorative coins really started going uh, balmy and absolutely tons have been issued that they were only available in in sets or in brilliant uncirculated not circulated condition so these are where they you know start to buy them so i've got the the gruffalo that's definitely uh, the gruffalo sorry the snowman which is definitely a favorite of mine we've got uh, 2019 shield and the sherlock they were sh they were circulated Ruffalo, not intended for circulated. Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking's another is another favourite. Not that keen on that 2019 uh, Peter Rabbit. Uh, we're moving into the culture set now of 2019. So they redid the, the Britannia with new pens written on. They redid that in 2019 to celebrate 50 years of the 50 pence. So that's pretty cool because it says new pence. Then it went to 50 pence and then of course it changed to the shield design which we've got now uh, the 2019 Kew Gardens always a popular one uh, they remade the D-Day the 1994 D-Day they made that in the smaller version this is now part of the military set from 2019 um, and then we're into other not intended for circulation after we get past these two Paddingtons so that's uh, another another Britannia with new pence it was another celebration of 50 years of the 50 pence although this one will you be able to see not totally sure there are little can you see them let me get rather done on the cocktail stick here it is there are little letters in this corner and this one's that what makes that one and you've got this little um i forgot what you call that now oh i do know what you call that when you put that on it's gone i might remember by the time i've edited it the oh, jiffy no taffy no Mm, come on, what do you call that thing where they put a little thingy on? Anyway, never mind, it'll come back to me, I'm sure. Uh, Gruffalo, Mouse, Wallace and Gromit and the 2019 Snowman, certainly my least favourite. We're so we're still, and these are still 2019, absolutely tons that came out in 2019 and, in, and then into 2020 on this page. So have got a 2020 Shield, got the Team GB there. Everybody uh, is, is a fan of that one, looks like the WWF coin but it's celebrating the olympics that never happened in 2020 three lots of dinosaurs the last uh, beatrix potter the last peter rabbit that was issued in 2020 we've got uh, winnie the pooh that came out uh, in 2020 and uh, as did the the diversity coin and the last commemorative coin of 2020 was that snowman and in 2021 out the annual set we've got the shield there we've got the one celebrating decimal day and the, the one celebrating John Logie Baird's invention of the television. So that is my date run. Every every 50p from 1969 to 2021 that you can get. Well, except for the 
the five that I need. Right, we're going to move on to two pounds now. So I've got two pounds, I've got 10 peas, I've got some territories, and I've got my special album as well at, uh, uh, at the end. So this is our second two pound album. This is, this is Ellie's book. And what we were doing is we uh, were trying to find every commemorative coin in a coin hunt. And the writing around the outside can be one way up or the other. Uh, it's not an error, it's just the way they go through the, the rimming machine. So this one, for example. So this is uh, Northern Ireland Commonwealth Games. And if you look here, there's the Queen's side. If you flip that up, you can read it says Manchester 2002 Spirit of Friendship on there. So we're saying that writing is the right is the right way up. So all everything in this book, the writing needs to be that way around. Just stick the Northern Ireland in there. So Ellie still needs a Commonwealth Games Wales to complete the, the Commonwealth Games set. They're, they're the most uh, valuable two pounds in, uh, in, in, that you can get in circulation. Everything else is pretty, pretty basic, I think. Uh, we're into, so this is an, it's an Olympic set of sorts. So 2008, 2008, ready for the handover to the, um, handing over to London. And then by the time 2012 comes along, they're handing it back over to Rio. So little, little three Olympic sets. I really like the trains, both came out in 2013, the Roundel and the Underground, uh, Underground Train. And I'm a massive fan of the Britannias as well. The, uh, I don't have any of the not intended for circulation years. I've only got 2015 and 2016. And this book finishes with The Great Fire of London in 2016. Nothing else has been in the circulation since then. Now, this is Ellie's book, and she collects some of the territories or foreign coins with animals on. So she's got a, a 20 pence there from the Falkland Islands and a 5 pence from the Falklands. Manx Cat 10p. She does like the Gibraltar Dolphins. That'll be 1997. Yeah, 1997 for the for the dolphins there. And she also likes that big chunky 50 pence that her granddad give her. So these are some of Ellie's favourite uh, favourite coins she keeps in the in the back. Oh yes, yeah, so she got these from Trev from Coins to Collect when he went to Gibraltar. So she likes coins with animals in. And I've just put a few fakes in the back because I've run out of space in my book. I'll pretty much have four fakes. Right, this is my two pound album. This is the first one that we tried to fill in the uh, in the in our coin hunts. Keith Elric designed this uh, this backing for us, which is pretty, pretty cool. And let's give you an example. So we'll use this. This is complete of all the circulated commemoratives. And I'll give you an example of where the writing's a different way up. So this is Wales. You can see the, the dragon there for the Principality of England. So if you look at this side and flip it over, you'll find that the writing is now the other way up. So it's upside down. So everything in my album, the writing is that way up. Just something a little bit different, so we've just got two sets. Not rare, not worth anything, just just a variant, really. So, yes, yeah, so mine, mine is complete, full full date run, right the way through to the Great Fire of London. Extras that I've got in here, so I've kept some of the some of the uh, unusual coins that I've found on coin hunts. So that one where that one's been taken out, pop, the middle's been popped out and put back in again, because the queen side shouldn't be on there. I think it looks quite cool, that look, the technology side. Quite like that. And then I've got just a few a few fakes which fill in there. Got a navy, so so yeah, these are these are some of my favourite two pounds that I've kept in. So I do like the, the navy centenary, and that's one with a flag error. So you'll see it's a bit of a little bit of extra metal when it was struck when the die hit that. A little bit of metal kind of got broke off or got stuck in between there, and it looks like there's a flag on it. So there's a couple of different variations, a, a bigger flag and a smaller flag. One looks like there's a cat. Laying on the mast, but uh, they're all they're all a similar idea. Uh, them two I kept. That one, um, that one I think I got in change. It was the very first one I ever got in change. I think Ellie got it from the uh, from the pizza shop, so I kept that one. And I think my mum gave me that one. That's why I keep that. Uh, that Frankenstein that was very kindly sent into the into the PO box of Frankenstein. I do like that. That wasn't intended for circulation, but I put it in there. I put it in there. Can't remember why I've kept that. That one either, there must be a reason. And then we move into the original two pounds. So from 1986, so that was the, the Commonwealth Games in Scotland. We then got the, the Bill of Rights and the Claim of Rights. Does anybody remember the Claim of Rights? I cleaned this up. I got this, I go for about 30 pounds, I would say. Possibly a little bit more now from, from eBay, one of these, because it, it's, it's the lowest minted of the original two pounds. Just looks like a massive old pound, doesn't it? And it was in, wasn't in very good condition. And I got it for, can't remember, but kind of half price. 
So I cleaned it up with a bit of uh, metal polish. Did that about six months ago, so that still looks okay. It's not recommended to clean coins, but I just wanted to look shiny in my album. Bank of England, we've got the United Nations Dove of Peace, as well as the United Nations, and we've got the 1996 football, which is a um, is another one of my favourites. There, and then going on, so I just kept some, some variants here. So this will be the Trinity House. I'll have a little bit of extra blob of metal somewhere. So again, not not errors, just poor quality control from the Royal Mint. So yeah, there's there's a little bit of extra metal kind of in here, a little bit, little bit in there. Should be should be clear, should be clear like that little porthole. Uh, that one, this one is definitely an error. It's got the wrong edge inscription. So I found this on camera. I didn't know what I had because the error only came to light afterwards. But it's got for king and country on this side. And it should have what a piece of work is a man to go on the Shakespeare tragedies. So about forty pound them I think now. Sure they'll go up in uh, go up in value. Uh, these ones, what did I get? What I kept them for? Oh, uh, the two two thousand ten is probably the double die error. So where it gets double stamped. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it is. Quite hard to see. Because it's in, I'll tell you, I'll take it out. It is quite hard to see inside the plastic of the, of the album. But if you can just see there, it's been stamped twice. So you see that E, it's got like, it looks it's um, like 3D. Look at the B, there's a B and there's one next to it. So what's happened when that got struck, it got, got struck twice really quickly. And you got a slight outline around the, uh, around the letters. So I've got a couple of them. Not something I really look for. You can still find them in circulation because it's just just a standard technologies. But it's not something I really I really look for. Can't think of what the why they be keeping that two thousand and four. No, I have to have a good look at it to think that one someone had marked it, so I kept it out of a coin hunt. The Magna Carta has probably got a little bit of extra extra metal on it somewhere. Yeah, down there. Look, a little bit of an extra sausage uh, meat on there shouldn't be there and that's got that's got one as well a little bit of if it was on the edge it would be called a cud where it's a little bit of extra metal uh this one that one i think i'm pretty certain that one's been clipped or oh, it's certainly an error i don't think that's been taken out see, see there's a gap there i don't think that's happened post mint i think that happened during the minting process i'm just not sure how anybody would get that uh would be able just to take that bit so normally if it's clipped when it gets punched out of the sheet, you can normally fit another coin inside and you can't. So it's not it's not clipped, but you can definitely go all the way through it. You can definitely see the light on the other side. So I think it's an error, but I've got no idea. Do let me know whether you think that's an error or not, or whether it's been happened post mint, so after it was uh, after it was minted. Why have I kept this this one? This um, actor union. It's a common coin, this one. Oh, probably just because when it's being stamped, because it gets stamped at the same time um, that the that the outer rim gets um, merged with the with the centre bit. It's stamped at the same time, and it's just been slightly out of line. Look, you can see that the, the pound, the bottom of the D and the uh, and the U, is just slightly out. That should be a a crisper finish, but again, just a poor quality control, I think. And I kept that because why not? Zesty bites, you get ten percent off your total order at Zesty bites with that coin. And I, and I pinched the idea. I put some bungle stickers on some two pound coins. No one's ever found one yet, but uh, hopefully it'll be out there. This one I just kept it cool because it looks cool. A page just the the, the three Shakespeare coins across in a set. I just thought a full page looked uh, cool. Really common now though, so not really worth keeping, but it looks cool. So why not? And these are my territory two pound coins. With an odd, uh, an odd foreign one in there as well, and uh, and I just kept some of these because it was super shiny. So let's have a look. So we've got the Isle of Man there, the race car, the Gibraltar Dolphins. That one there is Jersey, I think, is it? Oh no, Guernsey. That one, Bailey Wick of Guernsey. That one must be getting mixed up. That will be the, there. That's the Jersey one. Look, kind of similar. Um, Battle of Trafalgar, that'll be another Gibraltar coin. Yep. 
but they do do the, the, ter the territory two pounds they're just some shiny ones that I'd kept they weren't bad nick considering the coming out of circulation but the territory two pound coins are just absolutely amazing so that's why uh, that's why i kept them in the back of my two pound book right that is the end of the two pounds let's go into territories we've got a little little cute little book here just keeping a date run of some territories if you see my circulated coin collection you'll see that i've got some uh territories in a in a, in a case that i keep uh, but these are just kind of little date runs so uh, it's, in, it's in alphabetical order, so you've got F for Falklands and then straight into Gibraltar because the only Falklands coin that I've got with the, the Fox on. That'll be 1997 for the um, Dolphins and it'll go that way as we go through from the Gibraltar coins in a date run. 97, 2008, 9, 13 and 14. So just a little date run there with the capture of Gibraltar and the, and the Barbary Ape. Carries on with the Barbary Ape and then the anniversary of the referendum. And the Calpair House, um, and that's where it ends, I think. Again, 2015, 16, 17, and 18 for Gibraltar. And this one, I love this one, the turtle. That's just there on its own. The Helena, so Saint, Saint Helena of Ascension. Awesome, that one, I love that one. Someone give me that at work. Cool, so he's just sat down there, H, it's in alphabetical order. Um, H for Helena. Then we're into the Guernsey, so with the Frisians on, 97, through to 2012. Got, got at a double up on 2012 because there's no other coins from circulation. I don't have any NIFCs. Uh, onto I for the Isle of Man. They're all the TT races from 1997. I got loads, I just did a full page. And then we're into the, uh, the, the Milner's Tower, which I don't like. It's just such a boring design, the Milner's Tower. I'm sure this is the one where you get little, um, little, uh, die marks as well on here so the it tends what dies that you use but my eyes aren't that good that i can see i must have a kind of magnifying glass if that is indeed the dies i'm not sure then we're on to the lock locked and ram or lock the lot and ram and then we've got some uh some of them here again they're so boring uh, as we go into jersey these are every single one is so boring it looks like a b-tech stonehenge discount stonehenge i don't like the the jersey ones at all Got loads of 97s, they're all 98. And then got some more date runs here. 97, 98, 2005, 2006, 9, and 12. But yeah, they're all the same. So boring, sorry, Jersey. And I just kept a few old round pounds, nothing particularly, nothing valuable, just, I just had them, so I stuck them in there. There we go. A couple of different, three different portraits on there. So that's my territories little uh, little book. I'll whiz through the ten pences. So we we, we kind of pause the ten p hunts because they're just so chronic, they're so hard to get. But I wanted to fill this album with um, every letter from A to Z, two thousand eighteen and two thousand nineteen. Since we've abandoned this, I've since moved on to uh, a full presentation pack that Darren Cheshire made for us, and that's in our um, our coin cupboard. So go back and watch uh, that video of the. Uh, full coin collection of uncirculated. It's not uncirculated, but it is in the uh, in my precious cupboard. So if you want to see a full set, that's where it is. So where where we would found one B, one C, one E, one F, both H's, one from each year, both I's, one from each year, both K's, one L, two M's, one N, one O, one Q, one R. Got both S's. We've got a U, two V's, a W, an X, and a Y. So we ended up probably about halfway, I think, but it was just so difficult to do. And the 10Ps don't get many views. Even our A to Z adventures, where we went all the way around the country looking for the where the, the sites on the 10Ps. So, for example, we went to H to Houses of Parliament and we went to L for Loch Ness. So this is my territories. Again, in alphabetical order, starting with F for the Falkland Islands. Got a couple of the, the seals there. Are they different years? I think they are. Yeah, two different portraits. So we've got 1998 and 2004. We're then on to Gibraltar. So we've got the uh, the Great Siege. We've got the, the Partridge. We've got the Europort. We have got, that's the castle that's on Gibraltar. Some more Great Siege and some more Euroports. I don't think they're going to be in any particular uh, order. I don't think it'll just be as we found them. Yet yeah, they're all kind of mixed up. We've got the Guernsey Tomatoes. So while I'm here, big hello to uh, Tomato Helen. 
they're all 1992 very very common that that's the year they went to the smaller 10p uh we are now into the isle of man so we've got the saint germain's cathedral and lighthouse chicken rock I'm sure people have seen seen them before you can tell it's the isle of man because it has the the rapscallion legs on uh, on every isle of man coin you know, a little I better, I better call it tri scallion because lady m normally Corrects me because I just like a rap scallion. Is there a bit of you? There we go. It's a better, a bit more like there. So you know it's an Isle of Man coin if it's got one of them, uh, one of them on. And then back to the boring jersey with the uh, the B Tech stone hinge on. And again, they're all uh, they're all the same. So that's the 10p album. And then finally, I've got my two special albums. So this is kind of an eclectic. Uh, well, just anything really it's not in no particular order it's just if it was different or cool um, then it went into one of these two albums so i'll start with this this is uh, lady m's christmas coin collection it's got a couple of father christmases there and uh, the one at the top right from the isle of man the father christmas are from gibraltar recent years 18 and 19. didn't get 20 i should have got 20 never mind that's a stocking we found that in a in a coin note that's from the isle of man as well and I swapped that for um, some Battle of uh, Battle of Britons with Gavin Eccles. So I got Lady M got that for last Christmas. And again, Isle of Man, they do some absolutely amazing Christmas coins. So there's the there's the other side. These are uh, Tomato Helen sent us these. So these are from Guernsey. They are the pantomime set. Love these. Absolutely love them. So I let Lady M look after them, although I suppose I'm technically looking after Lady M's coins because they are in my album. But anyway, I let Lady M look after them because they're kind of Christmas related. And Ellie got me that for Christmas a couple of years ago. Peter Rabbit with a little decal over the top there in his Christmas hat. These are the Island Games from Gibraltar. Darren sorted me out with these, Darren from Caledonian Coins. And uh, I got these because they're basically Olympic coins. And I know it's not it's the Island Games, so it's all the territories and commonwealth countries and whatever all the islands link together and do uh their their version of the olympics i guess just absolutely amazing so i got that as a set that one i keep in there and it's an alaska state quarter and it's got a bear on because i'm a big fan of bears hence bungle and then we've got a, a jersey threepence there a fourth of a shilling three pence and we've got that cool it's uh it's a cayman islands that one let me see it yeah, from the give you one cent, I think. I'm sure there's cents in the Cayman Islands. Queen's the head of state, so you've got the Queen's part. I do like I do like coins that aren't UK coins, but I've still got the Queen's head on. Uh, these are some Isle of Man coins. I've got a couple of cricket coins and one of the Peter Pans. And then these are more Isle of Man. So I've got the, the victory coins. I've got them all. I've got the ones that were that, that were circulated so far. I'm sure our mate Rob Quine rounds with swine will get us the rest of rest of them as and when they are released into circulation on the Isle of Man. And we've got the, the coronation set as well. Down there. Got two sets of them because Trev got us a set as well. And then we've got some more uh, territories, and I can't remember why I put these in here and why I didn't put these in the in the date run or in the or in my uh, collection, where I put all the other territories in my big case. I'm not quite sure why I did that. I might have to put them in. Don't know. But anyway, so yeah, some more capture of Gibraltars. And also we've got the uh, Calpair House as well. Then we've got, oh, I've got, I've got more territories than I thought. Why have I, why have I not put them in with the others? I'm not sure. Anyway, or did I only put Isle of, oh, I wonder whether I only put Isle of Man's in the other ones. Maybe they didn't have, didn't have enough space for the others. So it's probably just Isle of Man and uh, Jersey probably in my big case. And because I only had a few Gibraltars and a few uh, extra Guernseys, that's probably why they're in They're in here. Uh, other bits, I've got a Peter Rabbit in there, Gruffalo. Um, got a Beaver who doesn't like Beaver, five cents from Canada. These are all just coins that were found in a, in, in a coin hunt, in our 10p hunts. Just Maybe it's just a little bit odd, a little bit strange. A little bit unusual. Um, I'll get that. I think I got that 20 pence. Someone give me that at work, I think. Uh, that one, that Paddington, that will be because I've got a little bit of extra splodge 
on there. Look on his cuff, it looks like a Cornish pasty. Can you see that? That shouldn't be there. More poor uh, quality control from the from the Royal Mint. And yeah, these are just other things that we found in 50p hunts, just, you know, 50p's that are knackered. That one I got off my Auntie Chris, I think. Is that the one from the Isle of Man? The two pence. Yeah. Oh, and them two Paddingtons I'll have. Uh, again, a little bit of extra metal. You've got the Dan Temple Chris Packet error there. Look, a little bit of extra. Can you see it? There's a little, little tiny little. I'll zoom in. Got a little bit of extra metal there, look. Tiny little one there. And uh, there's sometimes a little bit of extra around the hat. Uh, on the sleeve, look, them little blobs shouldn't be there on the sleeve. What's the hat like? Can't see anything on there. But anyway, so that's why I've kept them just a little bit. Unusual, sorry about the flashing, I've turned the lights on so if it gets too close, it, uh, it flashes a little bit. Sorry about that. And these are just, again, so just some unusual, just kind of got, just a real eclectic, got them from anywhere. These were out of the, we found these in coin machines. And you can put the, take the coins back to the bank. Uh, they're featured in a, in a previous video. And my final special album. So again, just a, a mix of absolutely everything. So anything cool that I've put in here, this will be, um, I, I, yeah, I can't remember where I got them from now. That one, that's just a 2001, uh, Britannia, where someone's drilled into the Queen's necks. I've just kept that. Uh, well, so that's Raft Tree Centre's that one. 1600. 16 something or other. That, that one came from. That one was sent to us through a PO box. Just a cool kind of metal from France. I've stuck that in there. Like these. This is Greek, I think. Australian. Uh, that was a Queen's beard that features on it, featured on a video. Not sure why I kept that one. That 1998. Can't think why I kept that. Who knows? I'll we'll have to go back and watch all our old videos to find out. So these will be things that we found in in 10p hunts that shouldn't be there. Obviously, I've had some mark, someone's put some marks on that one, so I've kept that one. I'll keep anything unusual, really. Uh, extra big chunky 50p's. Can you have enough big chunky 50p's? I don't think so. There's a few more chunky ones there as well. Uh, some of Trev sent us these. We did it. We did a challenge where we had to buy uh, stuff from eBay for less than twenty quid, and uh, these big chunky fifty p's, territory fifty p's. Trev did for us. Mauritius. I got that one from a friend of mine at work. Uh, that one I kept because it's got the big fat writing on. So just a two. It's two thousand thirteen, and the writing is it's like a, a baggy die, so the die is not as crisp and as sharp as it should be. And it's made the writing a bit fat, so I've kept that one. An oddity, I suppose, is the word. A few more ten pences down there. What have we got? Uh, what have we got here? Uh, yeah, an unusual looking scouts. Uh, another ten pence with a gouge out of it. More territory twenty p's. I'm surprised how many twenty p's they have. Uh, ten pence from Gibraltar again. Oh, these are my collect. So these came out. If anyone seen the coin tin of wonder series? These are the the uh, the bigger coins that I had in the tin, I, and I put I put the tin back in the uh, in the loft for safekeeping. But I kept some of the big ten pences and the big five pences out, and that one that's one of my favourites. It was as a kid. It's Guernsey. That one isn't the Guernsey cow, nineteen eighty two. So I kept that one. Uh, kept that one in in here, and yeah, just some of the the pre decimal stuff out with the tin of wonder. So farthings, half pennies, pennies, and threepence. Oh, they are in they are in order. Little date run of sixpences, then uh, shillings, two shillings, the florin, and a, and a half a crown. And the final page again is just a, just a mix of all sorts. So these will be, I've got a Hong Kong coin there. I'll have a queen on the, can we see it there? This one here, I'll have a queen on the other side. I'd rather kept that. So when Britain ruled over Hong Kong before it went back to China. And yeah, just don't know anything with it. An X on, you know, did anybody recognise it? Anybody put an X on a, a red X on a penny years ago and did it find, turn up on our on our coin hunt? So that's it. That's just be two two special albums. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I walk through walk through our albums. Like I say, do go back and have a look. I might put them all into a playlist so you'll see. There's a video with our um, uncirculated coin coin collection. There's one with my circulating coin collection. And then we've got this video here. 
of my uh, of the stuff that I keep uh, in an album. I don't want to flick through that from time to time, and of course, two of them we're still trying to fill as part of our um, of our normal coin hunts. Right, I'm all done. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do subscribe, stick a like on the video, leave us some comments, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.